it is an interesting thing with the Merkaba and the energy gates and the Sephiroth and the tree of life and all that stuff. Um, and I do think it relates to how spirit, soul and body can be fully in union and oneness without this sort of pulling one way or the other. I think being out of balance is where the soul is in control and therefore is taking that energy and applying it for its own ends. And that you could call that a DIY perspective, I guess. But the sort of basic needs, I think, are the things that God has incorporated into us that he wants to meet and he wants to provide. And we then, when we are not looking for him, we're looking for those needs in other people. And that is when we're then drawing from other people when we should be drawing from God. And that's, I think, out of balance. And therefore, if the soul is in dominant, the soul can draw on the energy of the spirit to, in a sense, outwork its own humanistic perspective. So when you're looking at beauty, you need the, the spirit and the heart and the root in balance. They're the three basic governmental things for sonship. We're connected to heaven. We're connected to ourselves and God, uh, union and oneness within. And we're also connected to creation. But within that balance, you have the sort of energies that are coming when spirit and soul are balanced. And the soul and spirit are not competing for one another. They're not in tension with one another. They are in relationship with one another within the body and i think then when you begin you look at someone else you're not you're looking at beauty from a point of that is who god has created that person to be and that could be physical beauty spiritual beauty emotional beauty you know of their soul you know the person they are their character there's so many aspects to it and i do believe that god wants it all to be balanced so that when we have this sort of spirit and we have the soul and we have the two aspects of the same basic idea, they sort of come together in this harmony within. And then it isn't going to be corrupted or perverted because it's not going to be drawn off independently of our relationship with God. So beauty is seeing the beauty of the person from God's perspective. So that means we need to have a relationship with God to see people for the way he sees people, which is not based on what they can do for us. That it's not based on the pure physical. It's a fully balanced view of their whole being, their aura, if you like, seeing the energy around them, seeing the colors of their life. There's so many ways of looking at it when we can begin to see the real person without the negativity of seeing it through a wrong lens that will look at that person as someone that can, if we like the way they look, can meet a need in us. Um, actually, love is about how we can bless them. So having a positive attitude towards people in who they really are and encouraging them and nurturing them, helping with the needs that they have, those five needs Yes, God can provide all of those five needs and he wants to ensure that we have purpose, security, significance, love and acceptance. But that doesn't mean that us as sons of God can not also look to encourage somebody in their purpose, bringing them the security of our relationship with them, giving them that significance by encouraging them in who they are, loving them unconditionally and accepting them the way they are. That means the way they look. And therefore not putting our things on them that they should look different. And so many women are trying to look the way they think men want them to look. And therefore having plastic surgery and all sorts of things because they're not accepted for who they are in culture. Well, we need to have a different culture in the kingdom. And we need to demonstrate that we look beyond the physical into the spirit and soul to bring that balance and harmony of looking at the real person. But all of these energies... Um, through the Merkaba, through living water within our innermost being, need to be spirit and soul in harmony and balance and not off balance one way or the other. Because 
also you can be so spiritually off balance you don't actually have a practical outworking of that in your everyday life oh well i do the heavenly stuff well the heavenly stuff has to have a, a, an outworking on earth as it is in heaven so we need to be able to demonstrate these things on earth as it is in heaven and therefore spirit soul body in union in harmony having all the energy that we need to be ourselves will be balanced when our spirit and soul are in union with one another and that does require some renewing of our minds some healing of our hearts and everything else but we can focus the energy with a motive and desire for union and oneness rather than being out of balance and letting the soul motivate why we're doing things or why we're thinking about things so do it from a balanced union perspective and i think things will be sent and you can look at someone and see a healthy understanding of the wholeness of that person the their frequency their aura their whole being and you can honor that person for who they are who god made them to be and bless them with your attitude and your approach to them if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much